Hi everyone, Alex here, continuing with our HVAC series. Today we're going to do space type plans. We're going to create a color schema based on the space type, which we previously defined based on Astro 62.1. And then to that color schema, we're going to add a color fill legend so that we can create our space type plans. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with Bim It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, let's open up our file as we left it on the last chapter. This will be this one, 001 mech, 02 spaces. And now this was the last space schedule that we had. We're gonna add a couple more parameters that we're going to attach to our spaces. And to do that, uh, we're gonna come here to fields and then we're going to create a new parameter. We're going to bring in a new parameter. We're going to bring it from our share parameters file. We're going to have to specify a share parameter file because we haven't yet. So I'm going to go browse it. So my share parameter file is called AJS share parameter. I'm going to hit open. And now here I'm going to create a new group for HVAC. So new HVAC. And now this group has no parameters whatsoever, but I'm going to create my first parameter and the name's going to be BIM it up air handling unit zone. And typically I like to use camel caps, so no spaces in between. So let's go ahead and do that. And now don't get confused. The discipline is not necessarily the discipline that the parameter belongs to, but the type of parameter, you know, in this case it's going to be instead of HVAC, it's going to be common because it's going to be a text parameter. See, if you go like into HVAC, and you get all this density, velocity, airflow, things that have to do with HVAC. This doesn't really have to, it, it will have to do with HVAC, but the parameter itself is just a text parameter. So I'm gonna go into common, I'm gonna leave it text. All right, and then I'm gonna create another parameter, and it's gonna be the Bay made up VAV zone. It's also gonna be common length, and now I'm gonna add the VAV zone. I can group the parameter under mechanical, I'm gonna do the same with the air handling unit. So edit, mechanical. I'm gonna hit okay. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create space type plans. And for that, what I'm gonna do is create a copy of each one of the levels. And I'm gonna duplicate with detailing because I wanna have the space tags, okay? So I'm gonna do the same for level two and the same for level three. Just in case, I'm going to create one for the roof. I'm going to rename this as, at the end, I'm going to append a uh, space type. Control C. This one's the same, but for level two. This one's the same for level three. And this one's the same, but for the roof. So let's open up level one. I'm gonna close everything else. And now what I wanna do here is create a color schema. And that I find down here where it says color scheme. I'm gonna use schema one. And then if I just hit okay now, notice that the color is gonna be based on the name of the space. And then I do a color fill legend. And I just place it here. So what you get is based on the name. And that's not really what I want. See like I have women here, I have man here. What I really care about is the space type. So I'm gonna come to schema one, and instead of name, I'm gonna make it space type. It's asking me that colors are not gonna be preserved, that's fine. Now I hit okay, and notice that now I have restrooms in blue. So I have women and men, they're both under blue because they're both restrooms, and that's what I want. So I'm gonna do the same thing for level two. Again, color scheme, schema one, based on space type. I'm gonna do a color field legend. There you go. And I'm gonna do the same for level three. Color schema, schema one, based on space type. Okay. Now color field legend. There you go. 